Hello and welcome to Nowcom, uh, the demonstration room. I'm very excited that we've had our latest delivery. It's a large box from UPS and this is actually going to be the first unboxing for us of the Spark Rune Kit Plus. Um, we'll find out exactly what's in the box uh, and explain some of the features and functionality of what you get. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I'm going to take the scissors and uh, see what's inside the box itself. careful with those, put those to one side. Right, what's in the box? A stiff cardboard box. Okay, we have the usual uh, instruction book, the Spark Room Kit Plus instructions, which we'll set aside for later. Disclaimers. Okay, so you can see it's a series of cardboard boxes. I'm going to start with the smallest and go to the largest. There's absolutely no description or any labels on it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll set them aside and we can open them one by one. Okay. Uh, that one does have a label. And finally, I know what this one is. This is the main piece of equipment. Okay, I'll set that aside. Ooh, I have to watch that with a microphone. Okay. Smallest one first. Let's see what's in this. Okay, as expected, this is just an assortment of uh, cables. Uh, make sure you order the UK power cord. Um, there are a number of transformers, Ethernet cable. Uh, some sort of small wall mount kit and another power cable. Uh, and this here, let's have a look. May as well. It's only intriguing because it's in a special cellophane wrap. Okay, that's the table mount microphone kit and a very long lead. It's important to notice that the Spark Kit Plus does not have any inbuilt microphones, so if you need to cover the table with lots of microphones, you'll need to order more of these. You only get one in the box. Side. Okay, box number two, slightly bigger. I feel I should have something a bit safer than a pair of scissors for this. I have been trained to use scissors. Okay, right. But uh, very nice little bit of equipment. I will take it out of its wrapper. Uh, this is the Touch 10 um, display panel. So this comes as a paired device uh, with the codec. So it's pretty much like an iPad. It has uh, USB connectors. Um, looks like a headset connector on the side. And on the back. This is the main network cable, which you would use to then pair it to the device. I notice it's also got a Kensington lock socket and what looks like a mini or micro USB slot with a telephone icon. Uh, that's where you can actually have a, a handset uh, connected and paired to the device as well. Okay, so that's the Touch 10 device. And some instructions as well. Very nice, I should put that back inside the box. Okay, so you don't need to order a separate Touch 10 when you order the Spark Room Kit. So that's both the Room Kit and the Room Kit Plus. Okay, next one. Nicely packaged and presented. This is the codec itself. Okay, we might want to do a close up of this in a second because it's got a very large amount of uh, ports on the side. It's quite a sleek looking um, unit, um, reminds me of an Apple product. It's nice rounded corners, sleek white 
Um, lots of inputs and outputs on that one. So that is a separate codec on the Spark Room Kit Plus to the Room Kit, where it's all integrated into one. Okay, box. Uh, so the main unit, uh, it's a lot larger than I thought it would be. Uh, when you see it in the pictures, Cisco are clearly using very big television screens to show it off. Um, so it looks like it's about uh, one meter long. First impressions are that this looks very much like a sound bar for a smart TV, perhaps. Wow, it is quite impressive. Um, so that's the unit, the whole unit itself. Um, we can do some close-ups of it in a second. Uh, there's not very much to it. And what we can see here on the front is multiple cameras. Um, we've got a soft sort of um, material surface. Those are the hidden speakers in the side and as I said before there are no microphones with this particular model. Just having a look at the product in a little bit more detail um, so looking across the front uh, it's obviously most of it is hidden with the uh, gauze along the front but these are the big uh, built-in speakers. What we found is that uh, as TVs um, have got bigger and thinner the microphones have either got smaller or non-existent so you don't need to worry about separate um, speakers they are built into this. Also on the front we can see we've got four um, 5K cameras uh, and they're pointed at slightly different angles to get different aspects within the room. The Spark Kit Plus is designed for rooms of around 14 people, the Spark Kit is designed for rooms up to seven people. Uh, there is no uh, pan tilt zoom within this, these are fixed cameras. So we have a look around the back of the unit. So we have here um, a subwoofer subwoofer output for additional bass if you really want that more immersive experience um, with the sound quality to supplement the built-in speakers uh, what we found is that the speakers on modern tellies are very small if at all if you've gone for just a display panel there are obviously no speakers and you'd have to buy additional speakers but with this unit they're obviously built in so subwoofer there uh, this one is a line-in audio input uh, there's a USB, mini USB for uh, connecting a PC for troubleshooting. Uh, we've got the factory reset button, uh, that looks like USB out uh, or in um, for connectivity to um, PC etc. We've got two HDMI ports, those two HDMI ports for dual display. So you could do this, uh, set up this unit with a single display but obviously recommend dual displays uh, with it basically hanging on top of the two screens. Uh, we've got then connectivity of the camera, power and finally an on-off button. Yeah so I'll just put that uh, to the one side so that's the whole unit. There's one more thing in the box and that is, depending on what you've ordered, but in our case that is the wall mount bracket. And it's done a very nice thing. So pretty straightforward I guess touches to the wall and then you hang the um, Spark Room Kit Plus to it. Okay.